Hey, thought I'd do a quick video on how I determine voltage in a line or ground. For demonstration purposes, I'm using a Toyota ignition coil connector. Uh, this is the, the DVM is set up on co continuity alert. So when you have continuity between this line and this line, you'll get an alert. There you go. Now, how do I do this in a car? My go-to is to use the AES, AES Wave back probe connectors. Love these things. So what you do, I have a whole video on this if you want more explanation, which I strongly suggest before using them. Anyway, so you would just go through here, the insulation, carefully go down. Once you feel it, boom. Now I'm able to monitor the, the voltage or ground depending on what you're doing on this line. That again, this is my go-to. Sometimes you can't do that with let's say a German uh, connectors. They're a little harder to get to. Uh, and to do that, unfortunately, you have to go with some insulation piercers. These are made by Power Probe. I like them, they're all right. So I'll give an example how we would use those. Put this adapter in there. Put it on the wire. Screw it down. There you go. So now again, I'm tapping into that wire. And this is the same just for bigger, thicker wires. Now you're gonna probably ask what now that I've pierced it, everyone's freaking out about that. Well, now I use liquid electrical tape and I dab wherever I pierced. But I would prefer this. This is Phil's electrical probe. This, this gentleman right here uh, it was an ASE, so he understands this. What's nice about this, if you noticed, it took two hands to do this. Got to hold it in it. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you're reaching down something you can't. This is nice. It's spring loaded. See that? So I'm ho I hold it like that, go down and do it. So let, let's check it out. Let's see if it works. See how it works. Put this in the end. Open it up. There you go. What's nice about it, it has little tiny pins on there. Um, I learned I learned about this from Scanner Danner, so you can learn more about it, but I really like this. And then lastly, again, I learned a trick from Scanner Danner. These are welding torch tip cleaners made by WIPO. Why would I do that? Well, sometimes when you're working on a connector, these get spread. They get spread over time or a technician pull them out, wiggled them too much and made to stretch. So what I do is I use the various sizes in here to make sure they're consistent. And this has saved me a couple times. You wouldn't think it's that little spring in there that was a little too uh, opened up because they wiggled it out and it wasn't making connection with the other connector when it would plug in. It would be too loose. Uh, or it's very loose fitting and temperature would make it expand and not connect as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the information helpful.